okay if you <coughs> look at the responsiveness it is not going to be 100 percent responsiveness responsiveness is it should match the same in all the devices okay responsiveness for example okay we have this achievers it what is responsiveness in the sense how many devices we have we have three screen sizes like which is going to be desktop mobile as well as the tablet view okay these three things in, in this is there any disturbances in desktop no and also we are targeting as of now we are targeting only for the desktop but that should not be the scenario from now on okay if you are writing some code it should work on mobile as well as well as it should work on tablet as well it should be that we call it as responsiveness so now i'll try to inspect this we'll try to check this page responsiveness okay if you are here you'll be having the devices in which device you want how okay if you have a look at here see by default there it is like side by side but here it come down by down okay and is there any disturbances happening over here and there we have four cards here we have single card okay how it is happening these are all the things you should know how we are going to write this okay how can we achieve this <coughs> these sort of things and also as well as tablet view this is tablet view see this person see and also their menu becomes toggle okay see there we have four here we have three in order how to do this we'll try to execute this i mean i'll try to teach you how to do this <coughs> We have three devices, so that we'll try to uh, give us more. Let's give something. Okay, this is for desktop. Okay, we'll have three images or four images. Okay, and when it comes to this, is tablet. Here we try to make it as two. Okay. When it comes to mobile, make this as one. Okay, how to do this? Or any sections it's not only the images we can have uh, like consider it as sections layouts anything see we'll just write the code new file Do you remember these selectors? What are they? How many are selectors? And what are they? How many are there? Hmm? What? How many are there? What are they? We are talking about only combinator selectors. Inside how combinator selectors, how many are there? What are all there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that. See, that are all. That is all the four we have. What are all the descendant? Descendant selector. Child selector. Uh huh. Not child sibling. Adjacent sibling and general sibling. Okay. I'll take one division inside this. I'll try to like add the images. Okay, I'll try to like take a three more, two more divs, and inside this, I'll try to add the image. <coughs> is equals to <clears throat> else directly i'm gonna give some image that's is equals to see there is nothing complex in media queries but the only thing is you need to know how to write it okay We'll try to see what are all the images available out there. Now we have only a society logo. So we'll try to pick some other images. Okay, I'll just uh, rename this. Paste inside my images folder. Okay, I'll try to execute this. Uh, first, we'll try to add something like where is this inside our images folder, and we are in CSS. We need to come out of it. Product for slash images for slash. What are all the images are we have? So dot its extension JPG. Name it as nature. Save. Now I'll just copy this. Control C and Control V and Control V. This is uh, JPG intra. And this is road. The extension is also in the JPG. If it's not working, then we'll try to it. We'll try to execute this. Okay, if you try to check, it's applying, but it is taking too much of space. So, so that what we are going to do is we, we, we need to restrict it. And also by default, the images are going to be uh in, in line okay so it is going to come next to next so what i'm going to do is for this image i'll try to like add some space i mean width width of something like 200 px okay height of auto 
save and reload. Why we are going to use auto? According to the width, the height it is going to automatically adjust. Next, uh, we have we can why can't we give this in percentages so that whatever the device it is going to adjust according to that particular device. So two hundred, <coughs> not two hundred percent. We'll try to give something like. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 33, it is going to come. So I can't even make it as 30, we'll make it 30. Okay, you are getting this, the same thing. Now we want this in, when it comes to tablet view, you, we want this in two. two. So for that, what we are going to do for this div, we'll try to add something, add some border, border of something like one px solid, red. adding up ten px. Okay, now it is good. Now, how to write media queries? See, when it comes to media queries, we can write in different ways. Okay. Media queries for all devices. We can write in different ways. Okay. How we are going to write in the sense, at the rate media. See, we are going to write that in the CSS itself, but try to like keep it in the, at the end. What are all the, uh, resolutions we have or by default we are going to write to desktop okay next we have tablet as well as mobile so uh, try to keep your media queries at the end okay always because uh, if you are keeping in the middle you will be like there is a chance of missing your css and also uh, if you are keeping in the middle if you are writing some css uh, next to it that media queries is not going to apply i mean uh, it is going to overlap in some scenarios so always try to keep at the bottom of uh, style in the CSS. Okay, we are writing in internal CSS and you can also write external as well. Now at the rate media, so you can see the syntax over here. This one, at the rate media only screen and max width of 600 px. Okay, the pixels may change according to your size, you can like change, but uh, 600 in a sense up to 600 px okay now we'll try to check it at the rate media only screen only screen and max width of 600 px i'll make it as 700 okay now you can write your styles. How you are writing your CSS? The same way you can write your CSS. Not by default, not by default. See, uh, see, I here how you are writing image. Okay, the same way I can just copy it. Now I'll try to paste it over here. Okay, now you are writing media queries. The only thing is you should write within this. At the rate media screen max width of 700. Inside this, if you write CSS, that is going to apply for that particular screen size. Okay, this one is this screen is, uh, I mean, uh, restricted to up to 700. So, or else yeah, I can give it as 500. Okay. <clears throat> now, but uh, what I need is here. Uh, this is uh, this one, right? Mm. 
this is how we need but when it comes to tablet view we want this to two images so that what i'm going to do is when it comes to it here i'm going to change to 50. okay so that what we, what it's going to become when it comes to uh, that particular screen size it becomes 50 percent two images see uh, when it comes to 600 we are we are in 768 okay now i'll try to reduce this it will come Okay. How much it is applying? 50%. Okay. It is coming in the next thing. See, it is automatically adjusting. Okay. That we call it as media queries. And also, as a UI developer, our main agenda is to make our make and look our page responsive. Okay. Think that if you have gone to some website, if it is not responsive, there are some buttons. If you are clicking on it, if nothing is happening out there, then are you going to show interest out there? No. Okay. You have uh, gone to some booking website, you uh, shopping website. Okay. Think that uh, Flipkart or Amazon. Okay. You have shopped something. You have done all your payments. Okay. And click on place order. Okay. But there is no response from it. What do you think? What do you think is going to do? Okay. Is that placed or not? See, that is like, uh, that is not the proper client interaction. Okay. What we are going to do is we need to, if something is error comes, we need to display him. Okay. That something is your order is not placed. If it is placed successfully, we should uh, display them. Your order plus has been placed successfully. If you're clicking on that button, if nothing is going to happen, then that is the clients is i mean the users are not going to uh, it is not a user interface that is not interactive so we should make interactive the same way this also media queries if when it comes to uh, the same width if you are providing the same width i just want to remove this see if we keep on decreasing the size see the image becomes smaller and smaller oh, it is not yet reloaded Yeah, sometimes with this media case it's going to happen okay like uh, i have removed this even though it is applying see now it is not applying okay sometimes this sort of things happens if you remove also we need to like uh, after some time it is going to uh, take that the properties okay some catchy issues now what the thing i was trying to say is if you keep on reducing when it comes to mobile if you are like keeping the three images over there you cannot see the image properly right it becomes small okay because three images side by side it becomes smaller so we will be making it one image so that it is going to look responsive so that is what image uh, now uh, you can add keep on adding your properties okay whatever comes to your uh, if you want to add some other properties not only for this elements you want to add some other elements okay then also you can add it over here okay uh, i want for this division Okay, for due tag, I'll try to add something like background color. Okay, now I'm gonna save this. Now I have to write to reload. See, the background color has been Change. applying. 
no it is not applying okay when we reach to that particular screen size it is going to apply now we have reached reach to 500 so it is going to apply now we'll try to this is for uh, max width of you will try to check, we'll try to check all the screen sizes by default it is going to be 600 768 and for uh, desktop 992 or 1200 see here you can see all the screen sizes available okay 600 is for small devices phones and smaller portrait tablets and this is for landscape what is portrait and landscape yeah uh, portrait landscape okay we when you are using mobiles the same thing we when you are watching videos landscape okay when you are uh, doing this it should also match i mean match that as well okay uh we cannot predict that everyone is going to like uh, use only this way okay some may also use full screen okay in that case also our design should not get disturbed next uh this is for max way and also you can write this min width also min width in a sense from 600 it is going to start okay minimum it should the screen chart should be 600 next is for landscape and this is for desktop and lands i mean uh, more than that now we'll try to write for tablets okay uh add to it media only screen and here what we're gonna add minimum width In your top, uh, this is for tablet, right? Mm. So we will make it as 500. Because this is for up to this, we are like uh, looking for this. From here, we'll try to add 500 px. Here, I'll try to like copy the same thing. Control C and Control V. Okay, width of. How much? Hundred percent. Okay, uh, this is for uh, tablet, right? So we'll make this as uh, here. We'll make this as thirty-three, and we'll make this as hundred percent. Okay, when it comes to mobile, we'll try to reload our page now. Now, if you have a look, yeah. okay, this is for tablet. We'll make this my idea. It's only you can use, but I was like just giving. Uh, okay. How much? Uh, like you are getting the full size image, right? Understanding any doubts in this? See, the only thing you need to understand is this portion of it. Okay. Then whatever comes, whatever the CSS comes, see. For tablet. Here you're gonna add whatever uh, the things which is going to come. Okay, I mean uh, for mobile you are going to add here. For tablet you are going to add here. Inside this, open and close brackets. You keep on adding. Okay, wherever the change is required, you can keep on adding it so that according to that it is going to change. Understood? Mobile response you plays very 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 important role. Okay, in real time as well. So make sure you you know what you are writing. Now and this is one way of writing it. 
and also we can use like uh, write min width and max width as well okay we are just writing only minimum width here and also we can write max width as well okay like both the things are together like see min width and here i can also write max width as well max width of uh my 92 so that what it is going to do from this particular 768 pixels to 992 pixels we are going to whatever comes in between this all these times we are going to add it here okay if it is like uh i mean or i mean uh, crossing it or uh, below it it is not going to apply okay if you are like just using minimum in the sense it will check minimum and from there it is going to apply okay when it comes to max it is going to check to that max right. that when it comes to min and max it is we are controlling the both in and out okay only the between we are going to write for a uh, mobile you can write like mean like a max width of 600 and when it comes to this uh, tablet, minimum width of 602, we can restrict it to 768, okay, or 992. According to the screen size, you need to write restrict. I, and also, you need not to write like for all the devices. You need to keep uh, for mobile one particular size and for tablet one particular size. If you give that, according to that, you keep so keep on writing so that it is going to adjust automatically. Okay, you need to check this as well. Understood what is happening? Hmm. Now we'll try to add a few more things for this uh, this only. Do you? Yeah, I'll just try to give this. Here we'll try to add some some other section, like um, image and text. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some view over here. Okay, I I gonna I was planning to use threads. Okay. Control C and I have to use and here I was trying to add some, some image. I'll try to copy some image from here itself. Okay. And here I can add some text p tag okay we'll try to add some dummy content okay i added some dummy content to it now we'll try to check this here it is Okay, for all the deals, it is applying the bar, I mean uh, the border color. So I'll just remove it. Okay. Next, this is how we are planning to. Okay, I'll just use some HR over here. Next, uh, I'm gonna use for this division. I can use display flex. Okay, so I'm gonna use some class over here. Class is equals to. I cannot name it as. Uh, some hero section. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this. Control C. And I'll place it in norm desktop dot okay and 
under here display click save and reload We are we are getting some image, but for this image, it is taking this width. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll try to add some class to it. Class is equals to uh, load image copy, and I'm gonna paste it over here. Because I was writing my common styles. M center or somewhere. Road image and uh, inside this road image, I'll make it as 100%. Width of 100%. Okay. You are getting, but it is like too high. Okay. Uh, I'll decrease something like 80 so that I may see. Height of auto. Okay, now this is how we want, we are having. But now when it comes to a tablet and a mobile view, I want this to be, like when it comes to this, I, I want this to be like uh, adjusted, like a down by down. If we can't expect this in the same way, right? If we like do this, see, this is not going to look nice. See, this is not going to look nice. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do for this, I, I was planning to make this text, come to the top bottom. So how am I gonna do this? Using my media queries, okay? I have used display flex, right? So uh, we have properties we can use, what are the properties we can use uh, for, sorry? With, no, uh, by using flex only, we'll try, we have some properties for there, like, uh, Row direction, row, right? Yes. We have discussed because by default it is also going to be row. Yes. Now what we are going to do? I'll just make it as column. Simple. Dot. Uh, row direction. Sorry, uh, flex direction. Flex direction. Column. Okay, which is for which one? This is max with the panel. This is for mobile. So, sorry. Let it be like we are like it is taking time to reload. If something is not working, that is why we are, we need to solve that why it is not coming. Okay. Okay. And also we'll make our uh, image to 100%. So that, okay, here is section, yeah. This one, I'll try to paste it over here. Okay, now looking good, simple. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, you can do like these sort of things, you can do it, okay? And also if you want column, we have given column. If you want uh, row or else column reverse. Okay, now it, how it is going to come.
Okay, now I should write a check. How it is coming? And Column has been reversed. Yeah. Okay, this is what there we have practiced. Okay, the thing there you know how to do it, but you just you should not keep it like that. Okay, you should know where to use. Okay, in real time, this is what the real time is. Okay, you, if I was not trying to tell you this, you will not get that idea, right? You will be using some something like uh, the same thing which I have taught you, like fifty percent, hundred percent, so that you will be following that same thing. Okay, so you should uh, come out of that particular, I mean, come out of the box and think. Okay, you need to explore more. You need to take some real time scenarios, and if you go to Stack Overflow, okay, there you will find any number of examples and solutions for it. Okay, for CSS only, uh, there are like uh, many things you need to learn. Okay, that uh, you need to keep on exploring. First, you need to understand the basics. Then you need to keep on, uh, keep on, keep on studying, researching. You need to exploring, keep on exploring it. Okay, keep on digging it. Okay, then only you are going to get. And also, how to do it when you are when I have given you some task. Okay, try to do that in multiple ways. Try to think that in multiple ways. How can I do using this? Doing using that. Okay, if something is not, uh, you are not getting up to the mark. Try to research. Okay, researching, I mean, uh, Googling is also one type, one set of skill. Okay, because everything is available in Google, but you should know which exact keywords to be used. Okay, if you are not using it, you are not going to get it. Okay, see, so think that uh, how you, uh, you want something, if you are, you, you, you want some specific mobile. Okay, if you are looking for specific mobile iPhone, think that iPhone. Okay, but if you are searching for mobiles, are you going to like uh, get iPhone? No. You will be getting n number of mobiles. In that iPhone also will be there, but you will not be uh, knowing iPhone. Okay, so you should know what. If you want iPhone, you need to know search with iPhone. Okay, the same thing with here as well understood what i was trying to tell so researching is also skill you need to like develop it okay what set of keywords to be used when you want something you need to like think which keywords can match this so that how this go i mean google is going to work we are in in web so we need to understand that as well okay how google is going to work according to the keywords you're gonna pass it is going to give you the results so uh you should know which keywords to be used simple Okay, uh, you you know you uh, you you are in the sea. You need to know at which exact position. I mean, place exact place. Uh, the fishes are available. Okay, if the fishes are not available and you are catching over there, no waste of time and everything. And you will be like after some time. No, this is not happening. Uh, I will not. Yeah, I'll leave. That should not happen. So, uh, if you are not getting something, then you are making something wrong. So try to think in different way, other perspective. Okay. Any doubts in this media queries? Mm -hmm. 